I'm with uh, Marika Conradi and uh, Chris Geiger of the Orchid uh, Society in Sedgefield today, and this is their annual orchid show, is that correct? Yes. Yes. What is it all about? It's introducing the public to our beautiful flowers, just to, to let them share in our passion for our flowers, and uh, it's just connecting us all together. And what, what makes you particularly interested? I mean, they look like animals, they're, they're like creatures rather than, they're like exotic spiders. <coughs> Aliens. My grandson would just there think that they were going to come alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, for me personally, I'm just uh, helping my husband. He got orchid fever mm. when he moved to Sedgefield. Mm. And uh, we're a small group. We're not a society, a formal society. We're just a group of about 20 at the stage of orchid lovers. And, and uh, yeah, this is just to share it with the public. And you do this once a year? We do it once a year. It's pretty, it's only for a few hours because it really is quite awesome. Chris, you're a, an environmental consultant. Yes, yes. Orchids in South Africa, is it, is it an indigenous plant? We have, I mean, one of the most interesting things about orchids is you get so many forms, shapes and sizes. Yes. And South Africa has got amazing and very beautiful orchids, yes. Is that so? They're not quite as showy as these things, perhaps on the whole, but uh, anyone who knows a dizer will know there's not very much anything that's foreign that is more beautiful than a proper dizer. So the Western Province rugby team is all about flowers. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well they couldn't have chosen a better flower. Are orchids in any way in any kind of danger in South Africa? Oh yes, there, there are many Grass types of orchids, yeah. grass orchids, there are all kinds of orchids which grow both in grass felt and in fainbos and many of them are in danger. In fact. And, and what can the normal person do to make sure that they they survive? Can we collect orchids? Can, uh, are we allowed they, to Lots of them are so sensitive they, they don't easily transplant right. so they have to actually grow where they, where they belong. So the main thing is to try and leave natural felt as far as you can and intact. And where can you see South African orchids? Where could the, we could, are they at the, the Botanical Garden in George? Uh, I don't think they, they, they don't, as I said, don't transplant well. Yeah. We do have occasional attempts to rescue orchids in areas that are beginning to be developed, but they invariably suffer. They are best where they, where they belong. Mm. And uh, I don't think they, they're very well represented in most uh, botanical That's gardens, because right. they're actually quite difficult to grow as well. I'm going to put you on the spot now, Marie. Mm -hmm. What is your favourite orchid? Um, I like the Deezas. The Deezas. Because You're my husband is Have you got any on show today? Yes, we've You'll got that show us one pink. In moment. There's a, a oh, there's sort the of pink one across there by the lady with the pink top. But they don't flower really this time yeah. of the year. They're more towards December. Yeah. And your husband? Well, that's his. That, that's I, his. I like it, yeah. yeah. I do, and I like the slippery orchids, but I'm also more for the indigenous ones. And in Sedgefield, we have a, a Ceterium Princeps, which is the our little logo. Yes. And it will be on flower within a month. And you'll see the spikes of these beautiful pink uh, orchids. And that's an exo that's, that's an indigenous, indigenous one? And, and, yeah. and endemic. Endemic. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. endemic to South Prince, Africa is it yeah. grows fairly widely in oh, South Africa, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. very often on some of the empty plots in Sedgefield, they are abundant and yes. possibly their large refuges yeah. in many places. Last so question: Why are they so expensive? Well, an orchid plant is 200, 300, 400, 500 rand and more. Those are imported ones, mm. so they are uh, bought. Uh, you know, they are expensive ones when she imports them. But uh, not all of them are so expensive. You can get them uh, from, from local growers that grow them and nurse them from, uh, you know, sort of uh, vegetatively. Or even so, I sow the diesels. And they're not that expensive. Yeah. You can buy a diesel for 50 rand, which is, I think, a bargain. If you were to give me uh, a three-minute, or a, a three, 30 second uh, overview of how to look after orchids, what is the general, what do you need to do generally to grow orchids? Are they easy to grow? They are easy to grow if you can more or less cop emulate their natural growing surroundings or growing conditions. And they're actually far hardier than you'd think. Most of them are used to periods of drought. Even in the Amazon jungles, an orchid could have six months of virtually no rain. So more orchids are killed from too much care than too little care, I'd say. And a lot of the greenhouses are to keep rain off rather than to keep your humidity high. Okay. Interesting. And what can we expect from you in the future in terms of orchids? Are, are, we, are you breeding new uh, hybrid varieties of dog leases? Now we do because we, we pollinate and we yeah. 
uh, generate hybrids and I sow the seed and I grow up the babies, the new plants. We have a sort of sterile laboratory. laboratory. Mini oh, laboratory. So you've taken it very seriously? Yeah, I used to do tissue culture, so it's not so alien to me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Conradi, Chris Geiger, thank you very much. Thanks very much.